it will be easier if you reduce your fractions first just to make your number smaller. Now four, we're going to 12 three times and four, we're going to 16 four times. All right, so now what do we have? What you do, the process to find the LCD is you list all of your denominators and then you break them down to prime factors. So four is two squared, you bring over your X. Of course, a two is already low as we go, it's a two. And then four X squared, that's two squared X squared. And then you say LCD equals, and list your factors. All we see are twos and Xs. And now what you wanna do is go back to each prime factorization and ask yourself, what's the most the factor shows up in any of the three cases? So let's look at this two. How many twos do you see here? Well, there's two of them. How many twos here? One. How many twos here? Two. What was the largest number you said? What was the most a two showed up in any one case? And that was a two. Now do the same thing for the X. How many X's do you have here? One. How many X's here? None. How many X's here? Two. What was the most an X showed up in any one case? Twice. So your LCD is four X squared. 